as the stalls you can see positioned towards the far side of the track so stall one the likes of uh, city manure if he breaks okay we'll have that a bit of a help but only five runners it's not much uh, there'll be no such thing as a draw bias here and the wind at the minute is more across them than anything as the rain comes down pretty heavy as the horses are about to go behind and load up so jimmy sparks 11 to 8 so the, the winner of that bright devil who ran well in the chesham yesterday and he's got a bit of size to him jason watson on board for the first time today he will slot forward and hopefully the rest of them will slot in fairly quickly as we tick around to post them because it's not particularly nice conditions as all of a sudden it, it just went dark overhead and looks like we could get rumble of thunder in it a belt of a shower as the favorite's just going to get hood on for stall's entry so the market wasn't screaming anything overnight but late doors he's now into five to four so sustained support five to four city mansour is five to two second in bonnie rig nine to two cliff cake five to one forty to one pair from auntie uh, you're out cider as a slot forward in the favorite hopefully he will go in under jason watson yep but say yes as he takes a half a stride back and he has had the benefit of a run So he's five to four favourite. Let's have a word with Stuart Machen, who's going to call them home. Stuart, any any positive or negatives going down? Well, Jimmy Sparks now was just a little bit uh, keen going down the first couple of furlongs. He was following down Cliff Cake and nothing you'd, you'd worry about too much. He was just a little bit lit up and City Man saw he was going in there and the yellow colours went down a little bit behind the others, was taken down fairly steadily, quite relaxed. Just emphasise how strong the wind is here. Michael Prosser was making reference to it earlier on. It's very, very gusty, and he was reporting that it's a, a cross and slightly behind from that far rail, the rail in the background there. It'll just be towing him along a little bit as the rain continues to sweep across the Roly Mile. And it's turned really unpleasant in the last uh, 30 seconds or so. Last one about to move in now. Performante with a pink cap will complete the line for this Betway British Stallion Studs EBF Novice Stakes. All in. Oh, they're off racing over six furlongs. The nose banded Bonnie Rig just jinked a little away to the left on leaving the stall. City Mansour, a yellow jacket, keen, throwing his head around in behind horses as Cliff Cake against the rail leads them through the uh, first 300 yards or so to Bonnie Rig on the near side and the well back favourite Jimmy Sparks racing between horses, the spotted cap, and then City Mansour and Performante Pink Cab racing uh, firmly in touch. Well, group field of five there as they run to towards the halfway point. Cliff Cake being joined out wide by the nose-banded Bonnie Rig. Jimmy Sparks just a half length away, sandwiched between them. City Mansour against the fence, waiting in the wings. Performante out on the right, being shaken along. On down past the bushes, they come running downhill now towards the last quarter mile. Jimmy Sparks in the centre has come there, travelling strongly. Cliff Cake still battling away on the far side. Bonnie Rig on the near side. City Mansour yellow jacket having to angle out as they climb now for the last furlong. Jimmy Sparks has moved on into the lead here from Cliff Cake. City Mansour getting the message late on. Bonnie Riggs sticking to the task. Jimmy Sparks though in front and beginning to stretch on close home. The well back favourite Jimmy Sparks home in front. Very close to the placings. Bonnie Rig on the near side. Cliff Cake on the far side and between them City Mansour. First of the three, Jimmy Sparks, and a photo finish. Yeah, he was well backed. Uh, 